This is one of the deadliest microbes on the planet. If you dive into warm fresh water in late summer, lakes, rivers, hot springs, or even badly maintained pools, you may be stepping into the natural home of Nagleria fowleri, a microscopic amoeba that thrives in heat. If it touches your skin or even if you swallow it, you're probably fine. But if one errant splash sends it up your nose, that's when the real biological battle will begin. This is the story of the brain-eating amoeba. Welcome back to a series I'm calling Scientifically Interesting Ways to Die. High in your nasal cavity, just behind the bridge of your nose, there's a small patch of tissue called the olfactory mucosa. There, thousands of tiny nerve fibers from your olfactory neurons poke through a thin, sieve-like bone called the cribriform plate, directly wiring your nose to the front of your brain. If this tiny amoeba finds these structures, they can latch onto the nerve endings and surrounding tissues, sensing a chemical gradient of metabolites leading towards the brain and preferring warmer environments. They burrow and crawl their way along the olfactory nerve fibers, squeezing through the tiny holes in the cribriform plate and into the olfactory bulb in the front of your brain. Here, they begin to feed. The amoeba prioritize the consumption of neurons and glial cells, while releasing enzymes and toxic molecules that break down proteins, fats, and nucleic acids in the nearby tissues. And while they feed, they begin to multiply. It takes a few days, but slowly, due to the mounting tissue injury, you start to develop a headache, then fever, nausea, and a stiff neck. As your immune system realizes something is wrong, white blood cells pour into the brain and meninges, releasing inflammatory signals that increase blood vessel permeability. The combination of direct tissue destruction and immune-driven swelling raises intracranial pressure, and the headache becomes unbearable, inducing confusion and even seizures. As pressure continues to rise, many patients fall into a coma, as their swollen brain compresses vital structures controlling breathing and heart rate. Here, doctors have few options to save you. Some aggressive treatments include inducing hypothermia to make the amoeba dormant and try to reduce brain swelling. But even with these approaches, the chance of survival is less than 3%. Only 10 people in history have ever survived, proving that sometimes the deadliest summer horror movie monster really does land with a splash. If you like science and now understand the phrase ending up in hot water, Follow for more.